Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth uh, tutorial from Warsaw series and it, this one won't be about the baking as I promised, it will be the next one. This one will be instead about particles in game engine. So I made a little script in Python, I put it in the Dropbox and you can find the link bet, uh, between this uh, under this video in the description. When you download it, save it somewhere wherever you want and we can open the blender now. Uh, delete the default cube as always and go to the second layer or any other layer which won't be visible in the final game. Here you can make uh, any object you want and it will be our particle what will be emitted in the particles um, emitter. I will use I will show you the most common one which is only just one plane unwrapped so you reset and this plane will be like sparkle or something like it and it, it will be done only through the material, so I will make new, but make sure you are in Blender game a rendering setting, make new material, the naming is irrelevant, just make it shadeless, everything is good, I don't need traceable or mist, and not even shadows, and transparency, Z transparent, alpha to zero. This is only for example, you can make any other uh, objects, like even monkey. I, every object should, should be really small. Oh. And uh, the position of the object is irrelevant to, so I said the origin to geometry. So you don't have to be in the origin of the scene. You can have this object be wherever you want. And I place there the image texture. And for particles, it's good to have some black and white uh, flares or something just like this. I use this corona, for example. I don't need to use alpha. I map this. SUV and don't influence color but alpha. When now when I'm going to texture viewport and make sure you are in GLSL shading not in multi texture you should see your particle and you should be able to control its color with diffuse color of the material so make it yellow or orange whatever and you always want this uh, face and this plane to face to the camera and for this purpose go to edit mode and rotate it uh, the way that it will face the positive x, x axis like this you can change the face orientation to halo and when you are in the perspective view uh, you can do it by hitting 5 on the numpad and play the game the particle always face to the camera and it's all for the particle itself and now we can make our emitter just make some empty it doesn't matter which kind of empty uh, I like to use uh, not plain axis but arrows because I now can see which way is which axis and for this emitter I will use my script so first of all I need the script to load into Blender, so open text editor, select text, open text block, find where you download 
the Python script, select it and open text block. And go to the logic editor and make some logic for this emitter. It will be very rather easy. Just need always actuator, always sensor with true triggering so it will run every frame and Python controller. In Python controller set to module and write there particles which is name of our script dot particles with lower p lowercase p which is name of the function and in this time you are practically finished just we will just uh, add some properties uh, only one property which is always necessary is property named particle uh, type of string which is name of the particle which is emitted in this case it's plane so I just write there plane and it's all uh, I need for make it work so now when I am enter the game engine I should see there are emitted little planes little particles but it's not really that interesting so make it more interesting I just select my particle go to the physics settings and set it to dynamic coast now when I'm entering the game I see the particles are emitted and they fall down as they should when I'm zoom out a little bit I see that they are disappear from uh, after 32 frames I believe they just died this I can change with other property which is lifetime I believe I will put somewhere uh, the list of all properties you can write there they are, they are all uh, they are all optional you don't really need them for function but you can control everything so lifetime is integer and it's number of frames uh, when the particle is die so like nine frames it will die rather quickly and I can do it like more than 100 and it will live long enough. Uh, I can even make it zero and the particles won't die never uh, ever but they, there will be more and more of them so be be sure that you somehow ended the emission because it's uh, heavy for computing power well we have lifetime of our particles and we can do uh, even more like for example radius it's float and it's rad radius where are particles emitted so a huge radius and you can do something like a snow or small radius it's in meters and particles will be in one place uh, another property is the boom property which is just initial force in every di direction and it's uh, times the radius so the radius affects the boom when boom is zero the particles just fall down but when the boom get higher the particles get spread to all the directions but when I am lower the radius like 0 2 or 0 1 I need higher boom when I'm let it as it is it's practically 
no effect but when I am take it higher it's starting to spread the particles like in the fireworks or something like it and I'm uh, make radius higher I need lower to boom maybe even more like this another property I can control the number of particles it's integer and uh, this is uh, very important to let this number very low because it's number of particles for every single frame so even the number of one gets uh, 60 particles uh, per second in this frame rate so when I am going like three or four I get really uh, many particles so it's good to check that lifetime is set to something because I don't want too much particles in the scene oh number sorry now you, you would see the difference and even the impact of the frame rate so you really don't want to get too high like 6 is more than enough. A good trick is make the plane bigger and place these little particles more on the one single frame uh, on one single plane. Well, I let it uh, the number is 1 and it's not all I can even control the initial velocity in the certain axis. So I add, add another property and it's well x. And with this property I can set the initial velocity in the certain axis. So when I'm at the rest two of them well y and well z for velocity in the y axis and velocity in the z axis I can control precisely where the particles will be emitted and I'm zero this two and set the z to some high value it's shoot to the skies and when I get boom bigger, I get something like fountain. I get a higher lifetime, for example. Now you can see how it works. And uh, this is nearly everything. But in these settings, uh, nothing uh, will change when I rotate this. It will. Uh, it is all made in the world space, so in global axis, and I can change it in the last uh, property, which is local. It's boolean property, and uh, when I set it true it gets the axis from the rotated empty so now the my z velocity is actually from the z axis of the empty you can rotate it and it's shoot it whenever i want uh, and this properties is strictly strictly for the one empty so when I'm duplicated and change some properties like the 
radius lower boom I can have two completely different particle systems and even change this plane for example I lower the lifetime and change it to Susan oh Susan here and just make it interesting Susan will be dynamic coast now I'm emitting little Susans for better view I place their hemilite and I can see I have two particle systems and you can do really whatever you want with it use it however you want this script is under no licensing so I will be glad if you use it uh, let me know if it works or if you run into some trouble with it some bugs and just make fun of it you can just duplicate your particles make separate material blue one for example and just by setting these properties plane 001 for example it should be blue this should be the orange one and everything should work hope you like it and you will have fun with it it's pretty much all uh, this is all the properties you can write there their types and just play with this but be aware that it's pretty heavy for the engine itself so the frame frame rate will drop and for the next time or till the next time bye